Once when I was in university, I had a friend with whom I always studied during examinations. I would leave my hostel and would go to his hostel. We would spend nights and nights together reading. I remember when we were writing our final exams, I had trouble understanding a particular course and all too sudden, I gave up and told myself I'll just return to rewrite the course next year. This guy, who had been my buddy right from our first year in the university, insisted he would not allow me to give up. He studied all night while I struggled, then very early, he woke me up and took his time to diligently explain the course to me. We had a few minutes to start the paper, so we hurried in. Lo, what he taught me paid off. I passed the course and never had to bag an extra year. Looking at every significant move I have made in life, I have seen this guy show up to help. He's been there countless times and like I always say, there's almost nothing I wouldn't do for him to reciprocate his impact over my life. You are the average of the five people you're always with, says Jim Ron. You tend to think like the company you keep. So I can safely say you become the company you keep. You have heard about the importance of people's influence over your life, but how seriously are you taking it? Keeping the wrong company and hoping to still become successful is like walking on a slippery floor for too long and hoping you will never sleep. It just won't happen. You become the company you keep. In today's video, I will be sharing with you three kinds of people you should fight to be with. Number 1. People who give you ruthless advice Yesterday, I had a meeting with my boss and we had a heated conversation about talented people and how they can be so broke in this part of the world. The few minutes we spent together caused me to think deeply about my life and immediately make some changes. The pieces of advice I got from him was ruthless and shook me to my core. When people speak this way, we have one or two ways of receiving what they say. We could either feel slighted and walk away or see it as a great help to our destiny. Some people tear you down and see your faults in everything you do. I do not mean that you spend your time worrying about these critical people. No, I mean find people who love you so much they don't hold back painful pieces of advice you need to grow. I worked with a very kind boss, had integrity and was smart. But this guy always saw loopholes in every idea you brought to him. He would show you how your ideas won't work and how you should not even bother yourself with it. I don't want such people in my life. People who give you ruthless advice do not have a critical spirit. Instead, they want the best for you. And so do not hold back from telling you the truth. They tell you that you suck when you truly suck to show you how you can stop sucking at what you do. They don't just tear you down. They strive to build you up and support you all the way. If you have this kind of people in your life, fight to keep them. Number 2. People who treat you not as you are, but as you can be. After so many years of working as a freelancer, I recently decided to take a salary job at a media company. From the first time I resumed office there, I fell in love with the boss. Here's why. He not only tells you what your life is like now, he treats you as you can be. We all want people who see the best in us when we can't see the best in ourselves. It can be difficult thinking we are not good enough and not smart enough, but when we have people who not only verbally encourage us that we are smart, but push us to do things that show it, we should be grateful and do all we can to run after those people. For example, I had quit writing for a while, thinking I didn't have any need for it anymore because of some health issues. But this boss suggested that I start to write for this channel you're now watching. At first, I doubted myself. I imagined I could never pull this off for long. But then, I took the challenge and began to write. Now writing for this channel and writing generally has become a part of me, what I enjoy doing. It was Stephen R. Covey, author of 7 Habits of Highly Effective People who said, treat people not as they are, but how they could be. In your life, there will be people who treat you better than yourself. They don't flatter you or spoil you, but they make you see you are more than you think you are and you can do what you put your mind to do. When you have people around you like this who encourage you to be more than you are now, fight to keep them in your life. Number 3. People who believe in dreams and are dream achievers Remember the friend I described to you in the introduction? If there's anyone I love to share my dreams with, it is this guy. 
He's a dreamer and also encourages me to keep dreaming. I remember when things were tough and I was just trying to get back on my feet. I was getting set to get married and had very little for the ceremony. This friend supported me and assured me all will be well. He told me to go ahead, of course, having a plan, but knowing that things would work out fine as long as I stayed on track. The greatest mistake of my life was when I started to hang out with some group of people who didn't believe I should have dreams or aspirations. It was evil to do so. By submitting myself to that opinion, I, who used to be rich one time, became broke and then dead broke after a while. My mindset about money was so mingled that it took me weeks and months of mind re-engineering to distance my mind from the lie that money is evil. Don't keep company with people who don't believe in your dreams and who don't believe in dreams for themselves. Don't bother yourself trying to win their approval. Because this is the one thing about mediocre people. They always want people who share this mindset as them. Misery loves company. Stay with ordinary people and you will become mediocre. Stay long with excellent dreamers and you will soon become a dreamer yourself. You are the company you keep, so choose your company wisely. In summary, there are three kinds of people you should always be with. People who give you ruthless advice on how you can improve your life. People who treat you not as you are, but as you can be. And people who are dreamers and who encourage you to pursue your dreams. If you have this set of people in your life, fight to keep them because they are relevant to your success. If this video inspired you, like the video. We love you.